Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Destin Business Forum, a, a television show for the members of the Destin Area Chamber of Commerce, brought to you by our good friends here at Cox Communications. I'm Shane Moody, President and CEO, filling in for our normal hostess, Miss Amy Perry, who couldn't be here today. Our next guest is Ashley Hamm. She is the president and co-founder of a new nonprofit called The Sondra Project. Ashley, welcome to the show. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to have you with us. Sondra Project is a relative, we were just talking about it, a relatively new nonprofit. Tell us a little bit about Sondra Project and how it came about. Sure. Sondra Project is a, a brand new nonprofit. We're about six months old, and we started actually three years ago as a community committee where a group of coworkers and friends got together and we formed a committee to go out and do community service and uh, put together some ways that we could act a little bit more locally. And then it just has evolved. And then eventually we branched off and created the nonprofit called The Sonder Project. So when you say community projects, what, what is, is there anything specific? Is it a very general, just go out and do what you think needs to be done kind of philosophy? Well, that's how it started. It started as what, what, what can we do to get more active in the community? What can we do to get these group of friends or individuals, coworkers involved in the community to act locally? So we would just select different organizations that are local to the area and we would go and we would volunteer. Okay, um, so you've touched a little bit on how it got started. It was just a group of friends that got, you know, what made you want to form the nonprofit? Well, we started uh, with with kind of a smaller goal, and then as we got more people involved, our ambitions grew pretty significantly. And then eventually, we wanted to make uh, not not only a local impact but also a global impact. So we started reaching um, out a little bit more internationally, and then built some great partnerships. And since then, it's it's really started to evolve and then take off. So we began locally. We've branched out internationally. Yeah. Talk about how you do that. I mean, what led you from right here in the Destin area to go and say, you know what, there's probably some things internationally we need to do. Let's, let's go find something. Well, we started reading some books and educating ourselves on things that were going, outside, going on outside of our local environment. So we wanted to continue to stay plugged in locally, but we also started to research on some, some of the need that is more global. And we, we researched high impact philanthropy, which is where your dollar makes the biggest impact. And so using that method of, of philanthropy, we decided that we were going to go out and figure out if we were to give a dollar, where would it go the longest way? And where we started was with education. So we took that same group of people um, who branched off and continued to grow that organization. And we took a group to Africa and decided to build a school. Okay. So very ambitious. But uh, we started with the school building in Africa um, and partnered with an organization there. And then while we were there, we felt the need to also provide access to clean water to the same group of people that were uh, we were providing education for so we partnered with a water organization and then more recently we have partnered with a deworming organization so that we can provide health access to clean water and education all to the same community all right so we're not just going out and sweeping the streets and picking up trash off the beaches community probably we're doing big bang for big dollars right that's right okay tell us you told us about that project what are some of the other things you've done well, those are the three things we're really focusing on right now while we continue to act locally. So we, we act local, we give global. And with that, we're really trying to take that high impact philanthropy method and we're trying to figure out where the biggest need is and then go into those communities and not only take one organization that might be there just for education purposes or one other organization that's there to deworm, but figure out what we can do to go into a community and make the biggest impact possible by bringing organizations together that might otherwise not partner together. Okay, so what's next on the horizon for you? Well, we are building another school in Africa in okay. September. Uh, we recently dewormed one million children in Haiti, wow. or I'm sorry, in Uganda. Okay. Um, did just come back from a Haiti trip where we partnered with an organization that's local called Planting Peace. And we went out and we dewormed in Haiti and then um, also working on building our first well also in Burkina Faso, country in Africa. So there is a, there has to be a great sense of accomplishment when, when, when you go in and deworm. You said a million? That's million right. people. What does that feel like? I mean, it, it's there's the sense of accomplishment is hard for me to even fathom. What does it feel like when you accomplish something like that? It, it's incredible. It's amazing. It, it changes people's lives. It saves people's lives. And it's so it's such minimal effort, and it's so minimal financially as well. Um, Ten thousand dollars, which is what we recently donated to a deworming organization, that is what dewormed one million children. Wow. Okay. So it's very, very little money for a massive impact. Wow. So, so now I know what high end philanthropy means. Yes. I mean, that's 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 pretty strong. Um, 
with any nonprofit, funding is always an issue. Yeah. The money's got to be raised somewhere. How do you raise your money? What do you do? Do you have any fundraisers coming up? Something that, that you want the audience who's watching you on television right now, and it's millions of people, by the way, um, watching you on television right now, what would you want them to know? Well, we, we get a lot of people that are donors through our website, thesounderproject.org. We've built relationships within the community that help also. Um, and then we have some fundraisers that we hold every now and then as well. We recently had a fundraiser um, in May where we held a big gala and had people come and attend and had a silent auction, and we raised some money that way. But um, most of the impact comes when we get people who are, who are offering recurring donations, and most of those can come through the website or getting involved in acting together with the organization organization locally as well. Okay. Um, again, I, I want to go back to the beginning because how, how do you understand and figure out that, that this is what we want? Again, I'm, I'm impressed by this global reach and this, the impact that you're having. H how do you get there? Well, Sonder, the word Sonder, is the realization that everybody has a story. So really what you're doing is you're just spreading that message. You're getting people involved in this very privileged, blessed community that we live in. We have a, a bunch of access to things, nece necessities and resources. And you get people driving 45 minutes, an hour up the road to where those resources aren't readily available. And you open their eyes and perspective to what's going on outside of our own community. And then if you take it globally, it's, a, it's even more impactful. And you have a great passion for this, don't you? I, I yeah, do. I can, I can see it in your face as you're talking about it, and, and you got to have the passion to do it. Okay, we always need volunteers. We always oh. need people to help us do the things that we go out and do. How can someone get involved with the Sonder Project? They can go to our website, thesonderproject.org. There they can send, send in any requests or information that they want to know about. They can also make donations through the website. They can get involved in some of our local organizations where we send out um, Lo local volunteers and do community service type events um, and then of course it, on a more global level they can get more information on that as well. All right, what was the website again? TheSonderProject.org. Outstanding. Anything else if in 10 seconds one thing that you'd want everybody to know about Sonder Project? Just the understanding that every single person has a story whether it's in this very community or whether it's on the other side of the world and just understanding that we have the ability to help change and make those lives better. Well, thank you for being here. Congratulations on the work you're doing. You, you deserve a big pat on the back. It's, it's a great thing and thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, if you'll please stay tuned, our last guest will be in shortly.